So right now, all the Android users want Android P on their phone. But at this moment, only Android P developer preview 5 is available. And the question is, how stable is it? And can you really use it as your daily driver? Let's find out. So currently this ROM is available for all treble supported phones. Phones which can install GSI image can install this ROM. So in this video I will let you know if you can install this and use it as a daily driver or not. So first of all I have been using this ROM for last 5 days to test its stability. The user interface doesn't have any bugs so all the animation and recent menu works flawlessly and of course the new Android P navigation bar is also working perfectly without any problem. So Wi-Fi is working, navigation bar is working, fingerprint is slow but it's working. So for first few hours it might feel like this is a daily driver room but guys there are some serious bugs in DP5. For example Volti is not working, of course there is a fix for that and you have to install a zip file which you will find in description box below but even with that fix you won't be able to enjoy complete Volti and it will only work on Redmi Note 4 but it won't work on any OnePlus phones. And also Gcam is working but in selected device like it will work on my OnePlus 5T but it doesn't work on my Redmi Note 4. Video recording doesn't work if you try to shoot 4K videos and if you're a huge fan of game PUBG then stay away from this room because on this room you can't play PUBG smoothly, it will lag and also it will randomly reboot multiple times. And there is strange bug in Bluetooth, if your Wi-Fi is on, you can't use your Bluetooth. But if your Wi-Fi is off, you can use it, then it will work perfectly. So fingerprint is working, but the swipe gesture on fingerprint doesn't work. Hardware key lights doesn't turn on, of course there is a fix for that, but it doesn't work on all phones as I said before. But don't worry, everything is not bad. With this new adaptive battery feature, I'm constantly getting 9 hours of screen on time. And to have this feature, of course, you must be on Android 9.0. So with this feature, you get super dose mode. So the standby time is also good. If I leave my phone 100% at night, in the morning, it's 98%, so only 2% battery drain overnight. So right now, of course, you can't install any custom kernel on this room because it's not compatible with Android P. But somehow Magisk is working perfectly so you can install Magisk and root this room. But for that you have to use custom Magisk file which you will find in description box below. So guys, despite of this bug, this is the only way to experience Android P right now. But still this is not worth daily driver because you can't play games, Volti is not working and there are many problems with fingerprint. And still if you want to install this ROM, step by step guide video will be down below in description box. So make sure you watch that if you want to install this ROM properly. So in a month we will have final Android P GSI. And of course if you don't want to miss that video, press the bell icon so you watch that video first. And if you appreciate my work then like this video. This is your friend Nair signing out and I will see you tomorrow. Ooh.